What is the gap and trap? Let's talk some trading 101 terminology that you're probably gonna see at some point in your trading career. And if you can just reference this real quick, then fantastic. The good news is there, nothing complicated, especially visually speaking. When you see it, you're gonna say, wow, that is very ugly. And it's gonna be just not appealing to your eye, but very easy for your eye to see. But let's break down each of these words first. So gap, I'll do more so when we get to the, the example itself, because it'll be very easy to see what I mean by that. But it's the trap word that does need a bit of context because trap you may think and it may come across as, okay, there's nothing I can do. I I'm trapped. Like control has been taken out of my hands and there I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of screwed, right? That That's what you think of from a trap perspective. But this is more so a self-inflicted trap. So at the core, the buried lesson here is why risk management better be something that's on the forefront of your mind. If you've never heard of risk management, I don't know how new you are actually watching this video, but this would be an example of why risk management is so important as a trader, because yes, this is a trap that is self-inflicted. You're not trapped in the sense of you had no say about it, you had no free will about it, no, no, no. This is your free will decision to essentially stay trapped. But of course, the tricky part here is sometimes you don't know it's a trap until it's way too late and then the trap can get a whole lot worse. But So that's what I mean by trap, is it's completely avoidable. With risk management, these traps, yes, they happen, but you can avoid them. So let's go and actually look at a couple of examples and I'll explain first what I mean by gap because that's clearly part of the terminology. So here you can see that we have an example and let's just first start off with the gap. So all a gap means is that the price starts off higher than where it closed the previous period. So in this situation, we have a price and close down here. Now, depending on how new you are, what we're looking at are called candlesticks. So there'll be a miniature candlestick lesson here, uh, you know, baked in, but right there is where this price closed right here. So it closed at, let's just call that point A. And then the next day it opens up here. Now, I'm, I'm truly not trying to insult your intelligence, just trying to illustrate that this is very basic terminology. Do you, what do you notice between A and B? Hopefully you're saying, well, I notice a big gap between A and B. Very good job. That right there is the gap. You have gap ups and you have gap downs. In this situation, it would be known as a gap up because B opened up way higher than where uh, you know it closed the previous day. So that in and of itself, that's a gap, very straightforward. And then the trap part is just, well, a nasty, nasty situation. Because when you think about the fact that the price opened up right here. Now in this situation, went up a little bit, so went up that high, but point here being, generally speaking, opened up around this area of the chart. And then the way candlesticks work, by the time the closing bell rang, the price had dropped, 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 and dropped, and closed right there. A nasty situation, a gap, and trap. But again, that would have been self-inflected. That would have been no risk management. You're just gonna hold and hope, hold and hope, hold and hope, and before you know it, you, you know you bought somewhere up around here and now the price is all the way down there. And then you can see the next day, there's actually a gap down. So again, on this day, the gap and trap day, the price closed there, and then on this day, opened down here. So the di distance between A and B here, would be, well, a gap, but of course, because it happened in a downwards direction, that would be known as a gap down. So gap and trap, big gap up, and then a nasty move throughout the entire course where the price just drops and drops and drops. And let's just look at one more, and then we can call it good. I forgot what my other example was gonna be. What was my other example gonna be? Um, and see, oh yes, GNUS, I don't know. Should I leave that in? I, I, I won't edit that out, just to see. You know what, sometimes I'm human just like everybody else, so we won't edit that out. We'll just leave that in there for a little bit of uh, comedic value. In fact, in the comment section, type LOL. You know, was that funny that I completely forgot what the, and I only had two examples, how pathetic is that? Anyways, hopefully you now see right away. Oh wow, yep, I see the gap in trap. So very quickly, the uh, previous day, the price, closed right there, and then the next day the price opened up there. So what would that space between those two lines be? Well, a word you could use for that is, well, there is a gap. I suppose you could say these are space, space and traps, but now gap and trap, it sounds a whole lot better. So there you have the gap up, and then this one, 
was even nastier. So it opened up right there and then dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. So not only did it go back to where the previous close was, it dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and went even lower and lower and lower right there. So this is even a nastier gap and trap than what the first one was. And then we get a little bit more context because we see what happened over the next couple of days. Things just keep getting worse with now. So fill in the blank here. What are these called right here? And then that one right there. What are those called? If you're saying those are called gap downs, perfect. You now understand gaps. But then after this gap and trap day, two more gap downs and it's just been that much worse. And these are situations that can turn out to be very, very bad if you allow them. But that is the key, if you allow them. So I don't want you to leave this video thinking that there's nothing you can do about this. You just better you know, cross your fingers, start hoping and praying that you don't get trapped in a stock. No, 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 you're not gonna get trapped. You can exit via risk management at any point. But these are all those situations that get a lot of people in trouble because as a beginner, I understand you see stocks and then they start to go down and you think it's just a dip. And to be fair, maybe it is just a dip. So you think you're, I'm only buying the dip. But the problem is if it's not a dip and if it's a gap and trap, then as you've seen, that mentality, if you refuse to sell, is gonna be a very, very painful situation. But also to be clear, am I saying that gap and traps uh, you know, happen all the time? No, they happen often, yes, but that's not, well, I guess I am kind of trying to scare you. I'm trying to scare you and motivate you to go learn about risk management. But I'm also not trying to scare you in the sense of, oh, these gap and traps are happening all the time, everywhere you look. That's also not how the markets work, but they do exist. And all it takes is one or two of the gap and traps and you, you can have an account go to zero and then be knocked out of the game. So be aware of them. And again, go learn about risk management. So that is what a gap and trap is. You don't wanna have any part of it. You don't wanna include or in create a self-inflicted trap. Just not worth it. Ask me how I know, because I've been self-inflictedly stuck in gap and traps before over my career. And trust me, it's, it's just not fun. It's just not worth it. Cut the loss, learn risk management. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a simple comment below, even, or even if you're just gonna put the LOL, um, and realize that gap and traps, they're avoidable, and just cut the loss, learn risk management. And also, by the way, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Thanks for watching, everybody take care. Thanks for hanging out and watching. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.